Okay, now for the big uh, showdown, saw off, saw down comparison video between the Greenworks and an Oregon uh, cordless 40 volt lithium ion powered uh, chainsaws. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt on the, uh, the Greenworks saw. The Oregon saw is a little different from the one I had in the previous video. We've uh, I've swapped it out for one that's specifically for the demo. So uh, this shows basically what you get from your money or kind of what's available from both companies. And these are probably two of the most common competing models uh, for our market for what I would call the part-time user, the homesteader, um, off-grid survival type thing. There's a lot of reasons not to go gas power chainsaw and we'll go into that with uh, some other discussions when, when I talk about gas versus electric on chainsaws. So right now we're, we're going to be doing a lot of work for these saws today. I, I did a little bit of preparatory work for the videos yesterday and we're going to show what the comparison is. Uh, the Greenworks saw is about a $250 chainsaw and then batteries you're going to pay a little over 100 bucks a battery there's one type of charger for this uh, it's hard my battery showed up with a partial charge so i'm not quite sure how long it takes to make a battery go from dead to full but i'm gonna i'm gonna say two or three hours high capacity lithium ion batteries do take a fair amount of time to get charged up and that's one of the issues to deal with when going to work with a saw uh, big honking battery we've discussed in some other videos and I bought a second tool which was the weed eater in order to uh, have a spare battery so what I found on the, on the Greenworks tools the cost of the tool versus the cost of the battery uh, versus the cost of the tool with a battery it seems to me like you're, you're just a little better off buying the additional tool and then building up your battery inventory that way I uh, used one of these batteries to weed eat the lawn after mowing and basically edging the lawn. They seem to last a long time. The batteries do last a long time. They're, um, according to the specification on here, it's a 146 watt hour battery. That's reasonably decent capacity. I got to pull out that P108 Ryobi. Of course, that's a, a, a 18 or uh, 18 volt battery, so the watt hour thing doesn't always translate the same way. Um, but it's, it's a reasonably good indicator of what's going on in the battery. From everything I can tell, when these batteries are full, they, they do last a long time. In fact, I tried to run one down and then uh, zero it out so I could top it off and get a good test on it and see how long I could go. And I worked for, um, I'd say about an hour and a half with this saw, but I'm moving branches. It wasn't cutting for an hour and a half but but I I would say you know a good little short afternoon of working and I didn't even get uh, I don't think I even got halfway through the battery uh, yeah yeah it's still got three dots on there this one I, I think is the one that I'd previously used to weed eat the whole lawn that's ha halfway over on the Oregon saw side, there's a few different batteries, but I've only got one right now, and that's what they call the endurance battery pack. They're a heavy duty one. Now they say that it's an 89 watt hour battery or 2.4 amp hour. So when we look at specification of specification on these things, the 46 versus uh, uh, 89, according to you know what we can read on labels. The, the Greenworks battery has more more power going on. It's also, you know, physically, I don't know, they're pretty comparable. Um, it's, it's the weight size. I can, you know, I could stick these on a scale, but the thing is, there's a there's a circuit board inside the battery. There's, there's electronics, and not just a pack of lithium the way you would have a Nikod battery that's just a, a pack of uh, stuff in there. One of the ways that uh, Oregon deals with this situation over here, if, if I want to have more productivity, I, I got to buy additional batteries because it's going to take a while to charge a battery with this. Now, when you buy the Oregon saw, this is a battery charger you're most likely to get. There is an accessory battery charger, as you got to realize these batteries are, are over 200 bucks each. Uh, but they do have an accessory charger that I think is around 89 bucks, and the accessory charger, this is what they call the, the rapid charger. There's a cooling fan inside of it, and this can bring a battery up in a couple hours, where apparently this one takes a lot longer. 
So one of the ways to increase productivity with a smaller number of batteries is to get the rapid charger. I'm, it, it is cheaper than, let's say, just getting additional batteries. Now, professionals at the saw shop have been given feedback on these saws. On, on logging operations, you, you're not necessarily using this to drop a tree. Uh, we, we are going to drop a tree in a demonstration to show you how it's done. But this is a limbing saw. And the other thing is the climbers are starting to kind of like these things because uh, a lot of times if you're climbing a tree to trim a tree out, you, 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 you know, there's a lot of times you just don't want to have to use both hands on a saw. So with this, you, you don't have to use both hands to start the saw, although generally you, you still need to use both hands to control the saw. It's just that that whole rapid jerking motion to start a saw, it can, you know, it, it, can, it can throw you off balance when you're up in a tree, even if you got your safety equipment on. Uh, so having an electric saw, a tremendous advantage for, I would say, a lesser skilled tree climber, limber type person. And overall, I'm going to say that these chainsaws are easy enough to use that you can get a little bit lackadaisical with safety because a lot of safety issues that really need to apply to gas powered saws don't really apply to these, although it doesn't mean you totally throw safety out the window. Um, but as far as productivity uh, with the professionals go, I'm hearing stories that uh, a pro can work with these uh, as a limbing saw, two batteries, and they're pretty much working all day. But there were initial complaints about the charging time on the batteries. Or a guy, it was really taking a long time to charge the batteries. So Oregon came out with this rapid charger. It's got cooling fans in it. Apparently, it cools the batteries and and and. Uh, rapid charges them and then these are microprocessor controlled so there's there's some some complexity that's in this one that's not in this one uh, again for our adjustments and features on a saw the organ saw adjusts a little bit more conventionally you got to use a screwdriver but they give you a screwdriver with it um, when a saw is brand new it's a lot like a bicycle chain It'll do some initial stretching, and so you got, you loosen the the chain here, and there's a spot uh, right here where you you can tighten up your chain tension with a screwdriver. We'll be we'll be going over that a little bit. The Greenworks saw a little bit more amateur friendly, in that this is where you loosen it, this is where you can tighten it. So I I did my initial chain adjustment and found that it held the adjustment really well. Um, the oiler is automatic, but again, when, it's, when, it, when a chain is new, you need to be able to uh, get those adjustments in, and then they're probably going to stay okay for a long time. Uh, so this is a toolless adjustment, kind of a nice little feature. Neither one of these has a bucking bar, except that the Oregon saw does have mounting points for a bucking bar. Uh, I, I'll double check my box, I don't think it came with one. Um, but it's basically some spikes that would stick out here to help you get a little more leverage on the wood. I did an initial cutting demonstration with this in another video on the Greenworks, and it, it, it was I wasn't pressing down, so we're going to show some real cutting here. But this is pretty much what I would say uh, financially roughly comparable package, except that I, I would say the Greenworks situation still works out to be considerably cheaper than an Oregon saw. So... I am going to expect more performance out of the Oregon saw because of the money involved, but for common usage, for um, uh, uh, backwoods retreat usage, of course we get all of our power here out of solar power, there is no grid power here. And we, uh, we look at electricity as our primary source of energy here because we don't want to be hauling gas back and forth. Uh, the other thing of course that's becoming a major issue these days is that the new gasoline with the, the chemical formula for new gasoline is really bad for small engines. We've got gas-powered chainsaws, and none of them work right right now because we're not getting the right gas for them. Electricity is electricity, although we will be testing these on inverter power, which tends to run a little differently from grid power, but I've got to run all the batteries down in order to do that. So the next couple of videos you'll see are the cutting videos.